Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review how to use templates on NinjaTrader. With templates we can save all the settings of all the indicators that we have on a chart. All the settings of all the indicators and the colors of the bars. So we can create the same chart on another workspace or create another chart with the same settings. For example, on this chart we have a lot of indicators, each one with its settings. And if we need to copy all these indicators with the same settings on another chart, for example, the, the British pound, The best way to copy all the indicators with all the settings from one chart to the other is using templates. For example, if we let's create a template with the current settings, we right click on the chart, click template and save, we choose any name then we are saving the template we, on a file that file is located on my documents ninja trader 7 templates chart if we sort it by date, we can see the last template saved is this file. We can send this file to another computer or a friend so he can create the same, the same chart. For example, if we remove all the indicators on this chart or we change the settings to restore the, the previous configuration we can load the template that we just created. So now we, we have the same settings as we had before. Now if we want to create another chart with the same settings, for example on this chart for the particular case of this chart using markers variables where we assign a variable like this one or this one so we, we cannot use the same variable on two charts if we apply the template on the other chart we will get uh, an error indicating that we are using uh, an already defined variable like this one so all the variables that were already defined we get a pop-up telling that those variables are already in use. We have six variables and we get also a message on the chart indicating all the variables that are in already in use. To solve this problem we have two ways. One is to change the variable names we can add a, a prefix to each of the variables. The copy variables, the copy indicators use only one variable. On the crossover indicators, we have three variables. The line one, line two, and the, the result. So 
So if we add the same prefix to all the variables, and also we check on markers, if we are using a filter, then we need to change the variable name there too. To check that we have everything fine, we reload the Ninja script on both charts to check that we don't have more pop-up errors. This is one of the methods. Another method is, use, is changing the variable names before uh, loading a new chart. So le let's say that we want to copy the settings from the left chart to the right chart. First, we change the names on the original chart. Each one of the variable names and also the references to those variables on markers. if we are using a filter. So now the variable names used on the template are not used on any chart. So we can apply the template on a new chart without any trouble. Now we apply the template and we don't get any error. If we want to add uh, another chart, if we use now the, the template, I, I am going to get an error. Before doing that, I change the names on, on the last added chart. I will add a different prefix. Now I will add a number one after all the variable names again to avoid using a variable name that is on the template so now we are ready to use the template again Now I can create a new chart for example DAX and we can set the template from this window and we should not get any error pop-up because the variables are not in use. So here we have the third chart. We have the same template used on three different charts with different instrument, but using different variables. For example, these blue bars are the standard deviation. On this chart is named standard deviation zero. On the on this other chart is standard deviation plane as used on, on the template and the third chart is using standard deviation 1. This way we can create so many charts as we wish. Thank you everyone. If you have any question please post below this video. Thank you. Bye bye.